I believe that if Apple, and I think it's highly likely, when they do get into the virtual reality game, the Oculus game, if you will, VR headsets, and the rumor is that they're coming out with one in 2022, which is, according to the rumored specs, going to be double the resolution of the Oculus. I believe that if this comes out, the development kit for their VR is going to be Swift. It's going to be based on the Swift programming language. They won't drop down to C++ or Objective-C. They're going to go to Swift. And the reason they can go to Swift, because as I've talked about in previous videos, Swift is a very, very performant language. So much so, it's very close to C++ at runtime. Though, in terms of productivity, the Swift programming language is up there with any of the higher level languages like Python or JavaScript or something. Swift is actually a very cool language. So this is an interesting little development because a couple of years ago, well, a few years ago, I did a video, I think it was 2018, I said, Swift is going down. And I thought, and my thesis for that particular video, vis-a-vis -vis Swift going down in terms of its uh, usage, was that mobile development was going to be more and more web-centric rather than native. And so the web technologies were going to take over that. I didn't say Swift was going to die. I said its use case was become more and more compressed because the need for native mobile application development is going to be less and less. Now, VR is a whole different game. You're doing dealing with 3D space and so on. And I guess eventually you could see if, if VR goes mainstream, which I think has a strong possibility that it will. I got my Oculus, and that tells me uh, that it will. And uh, I'll, I'll get into that about the Oculus in a few minutes. But anyway, nonetheless, even if the web will come to eventually dominate the VR space, I don't believe that's going to be for a long time. I think they're going to be coding these things in C++, C Sharp, Unity, which is on Oculus, and I think for Apple, they're definitely going to be doing their own thing. And it's definitely going to be with the Swift programming language because of all the advantages I just mentioned. So yes, I think that if Apple comes out with their VR, and I think it's highly probable and fairly soon, I think that's going to breathe a whole new life into the Swift programming language. That being said, as you know, I'm not a language zealot and I don't think that you should choose or be worried about your career choices based on programming languages. Because when you are a superior developer, coder, programmer, the language is kind of irrelevant. It actually is. But you have your favorites. Everybody's got their favorite languages. Like Everybody's got their favorite cars. And uh, so if, you're, if you like coding in Swift, you like programming in Swift, then this... Uh, this Pretty much, I think, if it does come out, and, you know, I don't have a crystal ball and I have, I have no inside information, but I, I am using the power of my reasoned nerd brain here, and I'm reasoning out that uh, when Apple do, does come out with their VR, which they will, it's going to be Swift-based. Now, I'm not a huge gamer, although I do get online and play some games with friends of mine just to sort of get together. So I got this recently, just last week. And the reason I got it is because I played the boxing game uh, at my friend's place. And he had this, and you just put this on, you, you box like this. And it's not a, it's, I would say it's, it's closer to a boxing simulation, the one I played. It's called The Thrill of the Fight, I think it is. And I've been in a ring a thousand times. And I can say that this represents, from my memory, I haven't sparred in a long time, but from my memory, this represents maybe, I don't know, you can say 70% of the experience of a of sparring match. You know, you're moving, you're jabbing, you're punching, you're, you're bobbing and weaving. You're not getting hit, and you're not feeling the impact when you hit somebody. But I have to tell you, most of the time when you're boxing, when you're really into it, you don't feel too much on the hand, especially if you knock somebody out. When you knock somebody out, it's like just punching through air, boom. You don't feel it. It's, 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 it's the first time you knock somebody out. It's strange, the sensation that, of not feeling any sensation on the hand. You wouldn't figure. But if you think about what happens when you do knock somebody out, it's just a, a perfect timing and a transferring 
of your power into the into the opponent, so you don't feel no impact on your on your wrist. Or maybe it's just the adrenaline is also preventing you from feeling anything. And then when you're getting hit, yeah, if you got a hard puncher, you're gonna feel the blows. You're gonna feel the blows. So it's kind of good when you're doing the VR boxing. You know, when you get hit, what it does, the simulation in the uh, in the headset is to just have the, your image get a little bit blurrier, a little bit blurrier. Uh, what they should do is put some uh, vibration in here. So when you get hit, you, you buzz. And maybe they can put some vibrations in the handset so that when you get, you hit, you feel the buzz or you protect yourself. Feel the, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, I think that this VR thing is compelling. I believe that we're close to it becoming the new big thing in technology. I don't think it'll be, maybe in a few years it'll be as big or bigger than the smartphone. But I think it's the new big thing because I've tried it and even with this device, which is relatively inexpensive, it's 2K per eye, the experience is very compelling. And I even had non-nerds try it out and they were compelled by it. They were super excited by it, by the way. So then I went to get an, uh, an extension to this, some additional components for this to upgrade the, the strap and the battery. And they were all sold out. All the stores, all the best buys, in Quebec, they were all sold out in stores. So that tells you something. So when Apple comes out with theirs, and no doubt it's gonna be much, it's gonna be lighter, it's gonna be super powerful because they're gonna use their M1, and they're gonna use their own platform, of course, and mean swift programming. So, yeah. So in 2018, I think I did that video where it says, Swift is going down. I think Swift is gonna go up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, let me know if you like the shorts I've been putting out, my little commentaries uh, I've been putting out on YouTube, let me know about that. If you like the shorts, put a comment below. Let me know what you think about Swift and VR, VR programming in general. Because there's also VR on the web, by the way, and it's very powerful stuff too. If you're uh, part of the mentoring program, you're going to see a lot more stuff coming out soon. If you're interested in my mentoring program, which is kind of like my boot camp, but it's, it's a totally different thing, and I think it's a better model, check out the links below. You get all my training that's available now in the future, plus the private coaching in our private coaching sessions, which are very valuable, and a lot more. All right, we'll talk soon.